Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. The concepts and definition of mental retardation have changed and varied widely in the last 50 years. Even today, the definition of mental retardation is described as in transition. It is expected that mental retardation will continue to be defined in many different ways. However, common concepts are found in the various definitions. Number 1. Experts and authorities agree that mental retardation is a complex condition. In 1992, the American Association for Mental Retardation stressed that the distinction between the terms trait and state is central to the understanding of mental retardation. Mental retardation is not a trait that exists separately from the other characteristics of the individual. Rather, mental retardation is a condition or state that affects the manner by which a person is able to cope successfully with the demands of daily living at home, in school, in the community, and other environments. In general, the different environments are built for normally functioning persons who have acquired the skills, competencies, and maturity through the years of normal development. The person with mental retardation experiences difficulties in coping with the various environments because he or she lacks the mental, emotional, and social skills and competencies to function in environments meant for normal people. But he or she has no choice but to live, cope, and function in these environments. As a result, his or her functioning is impaired in certain specific ways. Number 2. Mental retardation is a developmental disability. Unlike people with the same chronological age and average or high mental ability, the person with mental retardation suffers from lags or delays in his or her general development profile. A developmental disability is attributable to a mental or physical impairment or a combination of both factors that is likely to continue indefinitely. Number 3. Mental retardation results in substantial limitations in three or more of the major activities of daily life. These are self-care, receptive and expressive language, learning, mobility, self-direction, capacity for independent living, and economic self-sufficiency. Number 4. Mental retardation encompasses a heterogeneous group of people with varying needs, features, and life contexts. The previous belief was that mental retardation was an all or none phenomenon. This means that either a person was normal or had mental retardation. Now, mental retardation is viewed to exist in a continuum. The condition is accepted to be changeable. Some persons may manifest the condition at times and not at other times based on their needs for various levels of support. What is mental retardation? The American Association on Mental Retardation or AAMR had spent more than five decades of study on what mental retardation is. The AAMR 1992 definition is the most accepted in many special education programs all over the world. Mental retardation refers to substantial limitations in present functioning. It is characterized by significantly sub-average intellectual functioning existing concurrently with related limitations in two or more of the following adaptive skills areas like communication, self-care, home living, social skills, community use, self-direction, health and safety, functional academics, and leisure and work. Mental retardation manifests before age 18. There are four criteria in the definition. Number one, Substantial limitations in present functioning means that a person has difficulty in performing everyday activities related to taking care of oneself, doing ordinary tasks at home, and work related to the other adaptive skills areas. The areas of difficulty include academic work if the person goes to school. Number two, significantly sub-average intellectual functioning. It means that a person has significantly below average intelligence. Intellectual functioning is a broad summation of cognitive abilities like the capacity to learn, solve problems, accumulate knowledge, and adapt to new situations. The person finds difficulty in learning the skills in school that children of his age are able to learn. The intelligence quotient score is approximately in the flexible lower IQ range 0 to 20 and upper IQ range of 70 to 75. 
based on the result of assessment using one or more individual intelligence test. The current IQ score cutoff is 70, though it is acknowledged that IQ scores are not exact measures and therefore a small number of individuals with mental retardation may attain scores as high as 75. Number 3. Limitations in the adaptive skills or behavior show in the quality of everyday performance in coping with environmental demands. Persons with mental retardation fail to meet the standards of personal independence and social responsibility expected of their chronological age and cultural group. The quality of a general adaptation is mediated by the level of intelligence. Adaptive skills are assessed by means of standardized tests or standardized adaptive behavior scales. And number four, related limitations in the adaptive skills areas. It means that a person has difficulty in performing the following task, like communication, self-care, home living, community use, social skills, self-direction, health and safety, functional academics, leisure and work. Mental retardation manifests before age 18 to 22. This means that a condition can start during pregnancy until the age of 18 to 22. A person who suffers from brain injury at age 23 or thereafter, even if the other criteria are met, would not be considered to have mental retardation. The reason that such individual is excluded from this category is that mental retardation is a developmental disability.